What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tool Reviews and I'm coming up on nearly two years with my Makita 36 volt mower and I paid about 400 bucks for it. It's still the same price now as it was two years ago, which is still great. Comes with four batteries and a dual charger. Now I'm no stranger to gas mowers or gas engines. I actually used to work at a mower repair place and I still got plenty of go-karts and mini bikes that have gas motors as well. So how does a electric battery powered mower compare to a gas mower or gas engine really? Well, the big reason why I went with a battery powered mower is because my yard really isn't that big at all. And I have plenty of Makita batteries. It's kind of just a win-win for me. Having the batteries that I can use in other tools other than just the mower is fantastic. As well as these batteries have a three year warranty. So anything happens to them, Makita replaces them, no problem. I only have to do a warranty on one of those batteries so far. Now here's kind of the secret and kind of the downsides to having electric power tools is that you're gonna need a ton of batteries. This is the majority of the batteries I have for my LXT 18 volt Makita tools. As you can see, you just need plenty of them to keep running those tools. Um, on some larger jobs that I've done, like this one, I ended up using 16 Makita LXT batteries total. It was only about a two hour job, but that's how many batteries I needed to use. Also, of course, the mower is not perfect. It does make this really weird sound. It's the electric brake is starting to, I think, fail. Take a listen to this. Yikes, that does not sound good at all. It does that every time I try to stop the motor now. Also, I've noticed that when I start it sometimes, it doesn't always wanna go. So like right now, the button is down, the handle is depressed. but it's not always wanting to go. It's really strange. I think the cable has now stretched out on this. Might be an easy fix, but I'll have to check that out. So in all honesty, from using a battery powered mower now for two years, um, as well as using gas mowers, what do I think is the best? Honestly, I think it's pretty easy. If you've got a larger yard, you don't use a lot of power tools, I'd say go gas. Honestly, with gas uh, mowers, I still think that is the way to go. However, though, if you use power tools, if you've got a smaller yard, honestly, electric, these cordless options are pretty phenomenal. Um, but if I was to say, you know, hey, which one would be best for kind of just the best all around? If I had to make a suggestion to someone, I'd probably just say go gas, honestly. Um, I'm a huge Makita fan. I work with power tools a ton. Um, these mowers, they're great. They're just not there yet. Um, when I do heavy, heavy jobs with this thing, um, I'm going through a set of batteries in this within, give me five, 10 minutes on a heavy job. This thing will go through a set of batteries and I'm already swapping out batteries. And these batteries, of course, are not cheap. They average, I'd say right around $100 for a set of two. So for what I'm doing, I'm spending about two grand when it comes to mowing some of these really big yards that I do once in a while for some of my clients on just batteries and the mower, of course, by themselves. For my own yard, I go through about eight batteries on average between my, st my string trimmer, my mower, a couple other tools as well that I need to use. So that's still quite expensive, but it's nice being able to just charge batteries back up, not to worry about gas or maintenance ever. So if you don't like maintenance, of course, cordless is the way to go. Only thing I really have done on this mower is pretty much sharpen the blade. And I've changed the blade out once. So that's been about it. So when it comes to, of course, you know, cordless mowers, there's a lot of advantages to them still, but I kind of got to give it to gas still. You got more power, you got more runtime. If you're somewhat handy, like, you know, these engines behind me here, they can be quite easy to maintain. An oil change of this engine can take me five minutes. It's super easy to do. There's no oil filter. It's very easy to maintain. And if I had to swap out the engine, it's also not that hard either. You can't really swap out a motor on this as well. So it's kind of tricky there, but having batteries and using the batteries in this platform honestly make it worth it. Now, if you're thinking, hey, you know, the pricing of this thing, $400, it's a little steep. You do get four batteries and a dual charger with this mower, which is pretty nice because if you think about the batteries alone being say $200, the dual charger being another say 50, it's only making this mower cost about $150 if you're already using the batteries and charger for other tools. Actually a pretty good value if you think about it that way. 
But that's kind of where the good news ends with that is because there's not really anything I can, you know, do to repair this mower. Yeah, I still have about a year of warranty on this, so I might give Makita a call on it, but it really still works. There's nothing really that's not working with it. It's just an annoying sound, so probably not. But honestly, from my experience working with both gas and cordless mowers, it's really not easy to suggest going to a battery powered mower unless you have, of course, a small yard and you're going to be using those power tool batteries in other tools to really increase the value of your purchase. So guys, hope you hope this helps. If you're considering to go with a cordless mower or a gas mower, honestly, I think it's easy kind of it's pretty easy here. Just go with gas for the most part. It's going to be easy. You're going to have longer run time. Um, even in my small yard, I do swap out batteries at least once, uh, if not twice if i have a really you know have a really overgrown spot in my yard that i have to go through and it's going to be really tough to go through so guys thanks for watching if you got any questions cordless or gas leave them in the comments below i'll do my best to answer them thanks for watching guys stay safe out there and take care